5 Hidden Clues in Gabby Petito's Autopsy About Her Cause of Death and Killer From DNA to Domestic Violence Comment Questions continue to linger in the murder case of slain vlogger Gabby Petito who was found dead at a campsite in Wyoming nearly one month ago. Last week, coroners in Teton County confirmed the 22-year-old from Long Island was choked to death by human force and had likely been dead for between three to four weeks when her remains were found on September 19. Professor Joseph Scott Morgan, a forensic expert and former medical examiner teaching at Jacksonville State University in Alabama, weighed in on the case credit, YouTube. The most pressing of those unanswered questions is who is responsible for her death. Gabby's fiancé Brian Laundrie, with who she'd been on a cross-country road trip at the time of her killing, is not currently considered a suspect. He is, however, the sole person of interest in the case and is currently wanted for fraud after allegedly racking up charges of more than $1,000 on a credit card belonging to Gabby in late August, after she's believed to have been killed. While an investigation continues, investigative reporter Pei Zi Cheng and Professor Joseph Scott Morgan, a forensic expert and former medical examiner teaching at Jacksonville State University in Alabama, pointed to crucial details shared in Gabby's autopsy report that may provide at least some answers about what happened to her in a new podcast. The ruling came nearly a month after coroners wrote in a preliminary examination that Gabby's manner of death was a homicide. The day that they did this autopsy, they couldn't get out the door quick enough that afternoon to give us the manner of death, Morgan said on the latest episode of The Debrief. And when they shot out of there, they specifically said, this is a homicide. To rule something as a homicide, and the purest definition literally means death at the hands of another, they saw something so glaring. Morgan said Brandt's comments are significant, as that really narrows the field down because throttling is so very specific. He went to great lengths to even say that this was not mechanical, which essentially means that there wasn't a ligature involved, Morgan said. Morgan called the manner of death intimate, adding that throttling can either happen anteriorly, from the front, or posteriorly, from behind, and is often driven by a component of passion. But this isn't the movies, Morgan said. Anytime you have an asphyxial death, it's one of the most horrific things that can happen because there's literally less than a foot of clearance between the perpetrator. Both experts would have helped to determine how long Gabby's remains had been out in the Wyoming wilderness before they were found by investigators. Often, DNA will be recovered from beneath the fingertips of a murder victim if they attempted to fight their attacker off. One thing Morgan says he was taken aback by in Blue's press conference was that the doctor referred to Gabby as a victim of domestic violence. While Brian hasn't been named as a suspect in the case, the pair were involved in a domestic violence disturbance on August 12th in Moab, Utah, just weeks before Gabby was killed. Gabby, in floods of tears, told the attending officers that Brian had hit her only after she had struck him first. Morgan's remarks came as he was discussing the media circus Gabby's death has become. Gabby, 22, had been on an intrepid adventure of a lifetime as she drove across the country with laundry to tour the U.S. national parks. However, despite the couple's rosy projections on social media, the sunny facade of their relationship crumbled on September 1st when Brian returned home to Florida with Gabby, some two months earlier than planned. After hiring a lawyer and refusing to talk, he then vanished too, just days before Gabby's remains were found in Bridger Deaton National Forest in Wyoming. A weeks-long search of the Carlton Reserve has so far yielded no trace of laundry. Her cause of death was strangulation caused by a human force. She had been on a road trip across the U.S. when she was murdered credit, Instagram at Utah. Gabby Petito's mom told her not to trust anybody before Doom Road Trip.